guys. Welcome to another episode of Couch Crunch Podcast. Um, on this today's episode, we're going to be diving into Nope. And I think this is going to be a very fun episode to do. And here we have Don and Mir back on this episode. It's been a while, guys, since we all been, you know, all together. It's been a long time, but it's good to have you guys back on the episode. You guys can go ahead and introduce yourselves if you want. Hey, everybody. Uh, Don, we're going to get into this review. I, don't, I know it's been a couple of days now since it's been out, but I'm going to get into it. Yeah, what's going on? I hope everybody's doing well out there. Um, yeah, sorry for the delay. I know it's been out for a little bit, but yeah, this episode should be pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's, it, we're, we're a little late coming to, the, you know, just reviewing it, but I mean, it's still good. I mean, we can still talk about it. We all, everybody on this episode, we, we uh, you know, we all seen it. Um, very interesting film. Um, I mean, I don't even know where to begin because I feel like, like, just tackling... Um, like, what is the main concept of the movie? I mean, how did you guys feel like, and I guess I can ask both of you, how did you guys feel like when you first, like, I guess, like, even the introduction to the film? Um, and again, like, if anybody didn't see the film, you guys might want to, you know, go watch the movie before diving into this episode for sure, because it is going to be spoilers in here. Um, I just wanted to ask, like, so, you know, when you when when the movie first started, I mean, did you guys we're kind of confused on like the, int- I mean, it's hard to to get the concept of a movie in the beginning, but to me, when I'd seen the beginning, I was kind of like, huh? Like it already started off with like the monkey and shit. And with like, um, I think it was like down, wasn't it? it was like a TV show or something like that. It was like a live, like a, yeah, like, it was like one of those, like uh, a sitcom, right? Like, I think like a sitcom kind of, kind of thing. That's to come from like the nineties or something like yeah, that. Like, yeah. So it was just like, I mean, just diving into that was like, um, all right. I mean, it was I I mean, cause we all kind of already have like a feel of Jordan, you know, Jordan Peele's like kind of, you know, work and stuff with Get Out and Us, like mostly his projects is always kind of like mysterious and, you know, kind of random with shit. So we we already kind of a, had an expectation on when we first dived into this movie, um, but it was kind of weird on how it started off from that. Like I was just like, "What?" <laughs> it made you curious of what what's gonna go down because you just see a monkey, just, all this blood everywhere. Yeah, you see a monkey, and then it was just like, "I who are these people?" Like, because you think like the main cast is like you know the guys from you know the guy from Get Out and stuff. So I was like, who is these guys? You know, that that was crazy. I mean, what did you guys thought when you first started watching it? Oh, I guess but, I'll go on. Um, yeah. When I first seen it, it was like, at first I didn't even know it was part of the movie. And then I, because I thought it was just like one of those intros of uh, just showing like a part of the movie companies. But I was like, oh, this is the actual movie. And it, for some reason, it kept focusing in on that this one shoe that was in the middle of the floor it was like standing up on its own. Yeah, I, I couldn't know. figure that out. I was like, what 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 is that? <laughs> I was wondering what was the significance of that, but because they kept showing it throughout the movie too. But but I think it was just like showing that um people the monkey killed around them, the whole cast members and yeah, it it's it was pretty much setting you up for the rest of the movie of how, you know, animal reactions are and like the 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 animal um how animals react to certain things that would trigger them yeah yeah i kind of got that from it too um so because like when they kept showing like animals like really basically like examining their prey and how you know how to like really you know how do they be like basically explaining like what it's like to be challenged from another animal you know what i'm saying just basically standing their ground and it just seemed like they kept showing that um majority of the film like the beginning and you know throughout the rest of the film you just seen like that one director guy he just kept viewing like the animals and shit so it was just like it was interesting to see that part and yeah i agree with you on that yeah yeah it, it was a it had you curious in the beginning because it was like you not expecting to see this at first because you just think it's going to be like an alien movie, but then yeah, it definitely takes this course and it shows you why later on. Why, uh, because it throughout the movie you see like different scenes and it kind of pieces it together I, with that whole scene in uh, that whole um set. 
I was just a little, I was just a little confused on like the very first death. I was like, what the fuck happened? Like, you know, when he was like slouched over the horse and, you know, he looked back and and, I mean, I I don't know what the reaction time, like my man's reaction time was terrible. Like he's looking at his dad and shit and just like, yo, what's up, bro? Like he just kept trying to like call him. I'm like, clearly, bro, he's unconscious. Like you want to go and help your dad? Like, come on now, (laughs) you know? Uh, like in shock when he seen that yeah like, but yeah. like i mean i get it it's a shocking situation but it was just like you know it took him some time to the horse got down the road for him to like jump towards him i'm like come on bro like you know uh, i mean in his defense though like he got hit by we said this was this was including spoilers yeah 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 that's why that's why i i i, so, I, so, I mean he got the thing he got hit with a nickel like he got hit with a nickel mind you like <laughs> You cannot see a nickel like moving that fast. So like that is the fact true. That it, it, it hit him in his eye and in his face. It didn't like I assumed that it instantly killed him, but it wasn't heavy enough to like knock his. Body it was off a penny, course. bro. Like I think that was. Oh no, it was, it was a nickel. A nickel. Okay, nickel. yeah. But like, of course, like he's not gonna be like, like he's not gonna just jump to his dad because again, his his body was still stiff. It was completely like. It, it looked as if he was on the horse and he was continuing to ride the horse. It wasn't until a few seconds later that he fell off the horse and then the horse fell and then all that stuff like that. But like, in his defense, he probably didn't know exactly what happened. Yeah. Like, again, like the nickel came down so fast you couldn't even see it. It was damn near transparent. Like, I thought that was mind blowing because it was just like how much damage. I mean, because I mean, I always heard that theory, too. Like, uh, you know, if you drop a nickel off like the Empire State Building, it can actually do some damage to somebody because obviously the speed from falling, you know, uh, that far or high, it's like it can definitely do something like I don't know if it's like that for specifically because, you know, it's a movie. But it was just like, damn, that shit really like fucked him up. Like, <laughs> Especially from that, uh, from what the we know what the UFO does later on, how it spits out everything. Oh that my it, god, died. like that. No, but we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're, we're gonna take our time going through the motion. I mean, like I said, it, it is a long movie, it's like a two hour film, but we'll we'll get as much as we can. But I, I definitely want to leave out like this. I mean, we'll we'll get to the saucer stuff, like the alien stuff later. Um, um, so I guess I'll go. Yeah, you can go. Ahead. Uh, so yeah, like I didn't like. I'm I'm sure this movie was probably announced like months ago, probably even like sometime last year. Yeah, last year. I, I seen the trailer for it. I didn't know about it until like recently. Um, but once I found out it was directed by Jordan Peele, I was like, oh, it makes sense. Like, yeah, he made like some of the most modern classic movies of today. So like you have to go see it. Right. Yeah. Um, I didn't see anything pre- going to the theater so like i didn't see a trailer i didn't see a clip i didn't see a snippet i didn't see anything outside of the promotional uh poster the image the horse the nope the no exactly the nope uh poster i seen the actors and actresses i seen that and that's what kind of like all right cool for sure daniel's in it again like you have the, you gotta go see it um, and then Kiki Palmer, like, by, and by the way, like, the entire cast did a phenomenal job. Like, the entire cast, like, they killed it. They did a great job with the acting. Um, but yeah, I thought it was going to be like a horror movie. Like that, what my that's what my speculation was. Right. It's like, all right, this is going to be a crazy horror movie. It's like, probably going to be like better than Us was. It's probably going to be better than uh, Get Out. It's going to be crazy. So. The thing is, is that, like, this movie's a weird one because, like, it's not what it actually seems. Like, you think it's going to be one thing, but it's completely, it's completely an opposite. Yeah. It's completely opposite. Yeah. So, like, when I was, was, when I was in the theater, I, my whole thing was like, oh, this has something to do with, like, paranoia, paranormal activity, like, ghost. That's what my main thought was. Because, you know, you get to the scene where... Uh, remember he's in the the he's it's at nighttime and he's walking through the the, the horse stables. Yeah, and shit's moving around. Doors oh, the are lights closing. Yeah, the lights are off. All types of shit. We see a little shadow. Through through that entire moment, I was like, yeah, this is about ghosts. Oh this, man, this remember the ghosts. remember the praying mantis okay. part? Huh? <laughs> the praying mantis part. 
Oh yeah, ex- exactly. <laughs> like I'm like this whole shit is about ghosts. Then come to find out, the children come out and they're all dressed as fucking aliens. So I'm like, oh, that's cute. Whatever. Uh, whatever. Like, show me more. <laughs> um, and then you know, as you get through the movie, like you find out that there's some shit above their fucking home. Um, and everybody assumes that it's a fucking UFO, which I thought it was too. Yeah. And I noticed, I was like, wait a minute. That shit doesn't, like, why the fuck does the inside of a UFO look like that? Right. And typically, aren't there normally, like, lights to show the abduction? Yeah, there, shit? There's always, so, like, like, little shit like that that I noticed to where I was like, all right, I don't yeah. think this is a UFO. It, the ship was not like a standard, like standardized, like type of spaceship, like aircraft and shit. It was nothing like that. And at, I just, I just, for me, it was just an unidentified flying up. Yeah, because like, all it was, it was just nobody knew what it was. Nobody like we just assumed it was a UFO, and we just all right that this is about aliens at this point. Yeah, because like that, like, that was that was fucking crazy. Because like I remember when we first seen it, it was like it was using camouflage as like the clouds, and uh, you know, obviously with alien technology, like you would you would expect like them to have some shit like that. I mean, because obviously they have you know if it's if it's think if we're diving into extraterrestrial type shit, they have technology way beyond our comprehension. But it was just like, you know, that shit was crazy. Like the fact that it was blending in with the cloud, uh, cloud. Cause I didn't even notice that Don was the one that pointed out. He was like, yo, you don't see that shit right there. It's just like, uh, you know, when the guy was playing it back on the video camera, he was just like the, the clouds not moving. I was like, Oh shit. I didn't even notice that though. That shit was crazy. <laughs> yeah. All the clouds were moving, but that one. And, uh, and like I think it's towards the the middle of the movie where you start to notice the UFO had like a wrinkle kind of texture on the outside of it. It's not like a regular UFO where it's like like a chrome, you know, silver kind of thing. It's it had more like a skin texture to it. So yeah. that's why I knew it's something different than a UFO at that point in it, the movie. It definitely, like I said, like it it was when it started diving into like the alien type like concept. It was just like it 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 definitely was not like your your stand and i think that's why he wanted to be different with with this project because like he didn't want this the standard you know alien ufo because it, it's been done before so i'm guessing he tried to d- take a different approach because with the you know with the aliens craft it, i mean the spaceship whatever that was was just like it wasn't an alien inside it was an alien itself that was actually like that so it was just like oh shit like We've never seen an approach like that before, so that's that's very different. I like that he he implemented that in his film. You know that I think that was like a really good thing. Just being different is 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 a main key, and I think that's that was uh that was really appreciative. And again, with like with Jordan Peele's projects, like um, I mean I'm I'm a fan of his projects. It just seems like, and I watched the interview from him after like this film. Like it just seems like his mind was kind of driven to like black culture because that's what the film is mainly about. Is you know the the first horseman, the first jockey who rode a horse on like the very first film or something like that, right, Don? I think it just was like a little film thing that just kept playing of him like riding yeah, the yeah. horse. This- the first black man to ride a horse. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, Which, so I like, mean, that was interesting because I didn't even know that. Like, I didn't, that was nothing I, I was not aware of. Um, so, I mean, yeah. like I said, like, it seems like he wants to do that. The only issue with that is, like, it's good that he wants to always bring out, like, inspire, like, the black culture with, like, different aspects of we've never had uh, – you know, if we never had a uh, film where it was kind of talking about like we've had Western movies that was, you know, black culture, like, you know, black people in, in the film. But it was not like how it was combined with, uh, you know, combined with um, aliens and shit like that. And it was like based on a horror movie. That's it. That, that's what he was basically trying to say in the interview. He was trying to capture all of that and, uh, you know, and put that into the film. But um I mean, the only thing I have to add on to like his way of thinking of like with his films, like at least change it up. It doesn't have to always be like black culture driven. You know what I mean? Like it's like you can mix it in with like everything else. Um, Because, again, like he even said, the pressure is weighing on him as far as like being a director, because obviously like as a director, you have to be, you know, there's a lot of pressure on you. You know, that's like a big 
thing to you're the main guy that's coming up with all the ideas. I mean, you're coming up with ideas and you have additional writers to help you, you know, help you assist with the, writing the story and getting it like straightened out. But I mean, uh, you know, it just doesn't have to always be because if you notice, like that's the formula he's been doing with all three films. You know what I mean? Like just with, you know, the main actor, he's great. Don't get me wrong, but it's like, I don't want to see him in the next one is what I'm saying. I want to see somebody else different. You know what I mean? Like somebody else, like, I don't know, my, uh, Michael Jordan, like, nah, uh, what was it? Uh, I always forget his name. Uh, the Michael guy, B. Jordan? Yeah, yeah. I want to see him or something like that. Or like, if you still want to like, d- d- like actually push the more black culture, it's like just find different actors to do that is what I'm saying. Cause like, this is the second. And like I said, it's a good thing, but just, we don't want to see a pattern here. We want you to just be more creative with that is what I'm saying. That's the only thing I have to add on that. I, I disagree. I think it works. <laughs> like I think, and like, and I don't, I don't want this to be about a racial thing. Oh either, no, it's but- not. No, 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 no. I'm, and let's get that straight on the episode. It's like, it's not a racial thing. It's just, it's just how I'm taking but it. I, I, I'm j- I just want you to like, understand, like, so Jordan Peele, he's a black director, like, yeah, and like it stems from his reality, right? Like he's a black man, like, yeah, only like only and again, not that I don't want to bring up the card or anything, but like only black people knows what it feels like to be black, right? Yeah. So it's like when you're creating movies based off of your culture and your communities and your experience as a black person, yeah, that's like, I don't want to say that's the audience that he's trying to reach out to, but that I feel like that's his genuine like perception of who he is. Like he's just making it based off of like what he's experienced as a black man. Gotcha. And like, I think like him using actors such as Daniel and, and the others, I think it's, it's a good way to like, use that to portray how he feels because we know how these actors are right like we know daniel from get out like yeah so we can already expect like, of course he plays of course he he plays different characters like his character in this movie isn't the same as it was in get out and uh, i think that's the beauty of it like i think he should stick with them because we already we're already used to them like that yeah can he use more diversified actors or whatever yeah he can that's what but I'm, i don't that, think that, that's that, the point that. of his movie I, I don't but i don't think that's the point though like i don't think he cares about i don't think that part matters too much as more so about connecting that experience because like right i've seen it all on social media and like me and leah were even talking about it like why do you think he named the movie nope right like yeah when it comes to black people and black culture like when it comes to anything horror black people get out <laughs> that's their favorite catchphrase nope like we're not yeah. that's not a thing <laughs> that like, is, you know what i mean that so is it's just true, those like, little cultural things that like yeah, bring yeah. it all together to to you know what i mean like i don't want to again i don't want to say like he's making this movie for black people but it shines from what he knows right yeah like, you have to have like like it's the same thing with Spike Lee. Like Spike Lee made phenomenal movies back in like the nineties and shit like that. Absolutely, do the right thing. Yeah, you know all those movies. Like it's just them connecting it to their experience. Now, if it branches out to a wider audience or whatever the case may be, that's fine. But I don't think Peely's driven by like like that's not where it, stuff. Yeah, that's not where. Yeah, I don't. Intentions. I don't think that's the main point. Like, and, but that's why I said I think I like that because like. We know that if we do get a movie from him, it's going to be actors that we already know and we can already expect it to be good. It's the same thing if you correlate it to video games, right? Like if there's a a publisher and they're trying to come out with this game, but they're getting a developer team that we love. It doesn't matter, like you know what I mean. We we already know it's going to be good because it has the 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 foundation of you know good developers or good actors or whatever the case may be. Like there, I, I haven't seen any movie that Daniel's been in that flopped. I'm sorry, like I haven't seen. Uh, it. He's in Marvel. He he, in, he like. He was. Uh, and I'm talking about blockbuster, blockbuster movies. I'm not talking about like a movie that he first did 20 years. I'm talking about okay. blockbuster I, films. I think the very that first thing they. Out. I think the very first thing he did was uh, was Kick Ass Two was what really put him out there. I mean, because before all I mean, that, even but even in that, what I don't remember that movie too well. Was he a villain or something? Or was yeah, he <laughs> yeah it said that the Don Don was like the other day. He was like, oh wait, he was in that film. Uh, yeah, 
Uh, yeah, no, it was such a long time ago, but he is credited on the film. I'm not sure if he's like a villain or anything, but I think that was like his big. Hey, yeah, he probably wasn't like a predominant. Like, yeah, lead, I, lead. he wasn't a lead role. Yeah, in the Get film. Out was the one but that like, really put him out exactly, there, though. Exactly. And that's what I'm saying. Like going forward. He has that foundation to where, like, he's such a good actor. Like, I don't think anything that comes out, including him, will probably ever be bad. Now, that's not to say that that could not happen, but I highly doubt it. And then, then, like I said, like, I don't know the whole correlation between this either, but, like, the fact that he's using a lot of the actors from the Marvel movies is even dope, too, because, you know, the the, some of the cast members from the Us movie were in Black Panther. Yeah. Same thing. Daniel so like yeah it, it, it does seem like it's a very black centric kind of thing yeah but just understand that that's a part of his culture is he's going to support black actors yeah that's all a part of it that is true yeah that is true and that's why I like this I like this that we talk about this because we get it we get a better picture of like when we discuss things like this and for other people to really agree with on the topic and I like that I like that Don. Uh, I like that a lot Don what's your thought on it man like this. yeah, the one thing I wish he would do more with um his films is like I appreciate the you know like the black culture and everything. I just wish he like he puts more like character development in each of the characters. Like as the movie moves on, I hope I, like the character. I, like, I gotta agree with well, you. I gotta agree with. You. I don't mean to cut you off, but I do have to agree with you on that because I feel like Daniel wait, should. Wait, what do you what? What? Because I'm confused. What do we mean by character development? All right, go ahead, Don. Let's, you know, like the character, um, his main character, like he's like soft spoken and and nope and everything. Yeah, and like, he's like he, he didn't have too that much like dialogue. Kind of, like the, the Western cowboy kind of character, but I wish he would like develop more. Like as the movie goes on, he's like more outspoken and like uh, he would react more to things and like uh, you know, he, he would gain. But he did though. He he uh, kind of did. He didn't like, he, he didn't have too much dialogue though. That that was the one thing. I wish we he talked but, more. But but that but that's what I would challenge you against because you say like he didn't have character development, but like we seen it in the beginning. Like he was always like yeah, like in 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 the very at very beginning when he was doing like the uh I think it was a TV audition or something like that. Like, yeah, we knew from then that he was a very quiet like you said, soft, po- soft spoken character. Yeah. But like, as we seen throughout the movie, he grabbed a hold of that shit and threw it out the window because he, I don't want to say he became overly confident, but he definitely became more confident in himself where like, we've seen it in the scenes where he took, where he's took Ted, like he's taken action and he initiative took, he on took, a lot of things. He, he took the lead role. And like, yeah. If it wasn't for him in certain moments, like uh, people could have died. So, like oh, yeah. I would say like Oh. Yeah, I think uh, yeah. No, you you backed out. What 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 was it? You kinda of backed out real quick. Oh yeah, I was about to say like like moments of like that, yeah, yeah. He does have like fast reaction times and everything like that. I'm not saying that, but it's like um his like character of himself, like he, he it's like he only stayed on like one emotion throughout the whole movie. That's like the main thing I'm getting at is like he didn't he he's always stern and like I get that that's like his character, but it's like it it would be cool to see like a him develop more like as the movie went on. Like he would like react more with like certain things and like I don't know, like show different emotions, but he was just like only just one, you know, one slate, one uh, stern face and that's about it. Yeah. That's that's my problem. But I, I do appreciate like characters like that, like the subtlety of that, and like he was what um Jordan Pill was trying to capture, like the old Western cowboy kind of feel for him. That's what I feel like he was trying to go for. He did a good but, job uh, capturing that, though, for sure. Yeah. I just want, yeah, but yeah, and uh, same thing with, like the Kiki Palmer is like. I get that she was like overreacting to shit, and like uh, she was like comedic, uh, the comedy relief of of the movie. But I just wish she would be like a little more diverse than just that one character. Like she would like, yeah, I don't know, like ser- serious at some point. So like, like uh, that's the but that's the point, and I don't mean to cut you off, down, but that's the point that confuses me because like characters are supposed to have specific like features and like characteristics to them. Yeah. So like 
to just like I I don't know how much you were expecting of a change, but like Kiki Palmer, for example, like yeah, she was super energetic. She was very like she was also scared uh, at a lot of times, but she was also like she played her part. Like she was very supportive too. So it's like these like yeah, I get what I like. I kind of see what you're saying, but like I think it fits the movie though. Like because like if we look at it from like the perspective of like. I don't like I don't know because I I just feel like in this movie like they I, I like I kind of like how they were like that like how they portrayed themselves like like even the dude that helped him out like he was a supportive he was a dick he was super sarcastic but like to see him shift to something else I don't think that really would have blended well you yeah. know what I mean because like the same thing with like Daniel like his character very reserved very laid back very quiet. But, like, again, these are, like, traits to the characters. But, like, I don't think that he needed such a drag. Like, what were you expecting him to develop into? I guess that's my question. Okay. Like, what did, what did what more did you want to see out of his character? Like, I would like to see him, like, especially, like, towards, like, the middle of the movie, like, where um, shit was, like, really going down. Like, I would, like like to see him like be more alert and like more like, telling other people and you know like telling other people what's going on and like really instead of like being reserved and like set back and like um really like a good example is like actually they did it pretty well on like um get out like like and get out like it first started off like well him like just you know chilling trying to be in a relationship with that one girl and then, mm-hmm. like, the movie went on, he started getting, like, scared, and you see, like, that emotion on his face, and, like, he start crying in certain scenes, and, like, you just but, see... Like, but and- see, this is where I, this is where I would, would still, like, kind of challenge you at, because, like, I don't know if y'all remember, but, like, he was the one to understand the concept of the creature. He let everybody know, like, yo, you cannot look this shit in the eye. I was, I, I, I that was, that was the confusing part. Like, as much and as, that, and that's the thing, like, he, so to say, like, and he did, he did have emotion. Like, he was, he was scared. Now, like, yeah, he wasn't crying or anything like that, but there was definitely some terror within him. Like, you, you did see that. And yeah. again, like, he came up, like, he identified the issue, like, it, the, it, when you look the creature in the eyes, you're going to die. And then you he did. He so did like, had. He did had some emotion. I think when you know he lost his father too in the beginning, right? I think he was kind of going through that situation. I think, didn't he? I think he even cried during that. I, yeah. I think he did. Yeah. Yeah, but it it was like his face was just. I don't know. It just didn't buy me. Like that. you just wanted more. And like the acting should have been a little bit more spot on to the emotion. Yeah, because I know he can do it. Because like I said, and get out, he was like putting on more of a performance and like the character. But Don, ju- but just remember, those are different characters, though. Like yeah, technically, I'm, I'm this gonna... movie, this movie is in a time period where like, well, ne- not necessarily because it's in the modern day too. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying like him to play the same character and get out. I'm saying like they have that same character, stern character, but, like, as the movie goes on, like, have a, like, that one scene when he was in the car where, um, the U, when he was, like, driving inside the, the van and, like, yeah. the U, like, above him and he didn't want to, he was like, nope, I'm not getting out. But it just seemed like he wasn't... But that's active. a part of his character, though. Like, <laughs> but that's it, his it's character. To me, though. That's the part. It's like, <laughs> I can't buy into it. It's like, oh, uh, no. But if somebody's, like, really in that situation where it's, like, a UFO above them, it's like, Somebody would be like shaking or something like yeah, it was like a I mean, reaction. Like the but. film is fucking like fiction anyway. Like the actual reality of aliens and UFOs being in front over your head is already pushing it to the limit. I love it. So like, I love like it. him him say like him saying that line didn't like I actually laughed when he did that because it was like bro like. Oh no, we're gonna die. We're gonna say the best. I, I, we're gonna, I get what you're saying, though. I get what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, we're gonna talk about the best lines later too. I think that was gonna be fun. Um, I guess I'll go to things I loved about the film. Um, I it, what it would really what I really loved about the film was that it always captured the curiosity on on like basically how everything was unfolding. Um, you're always at ease on like what's going on, and I and and I I don't know why I just really love that about the film. I just always was wondering, like, what's ha- what's going to happen next? Like, what's happening? You know what I mean? I think that's such a, a, a really important part of the film is always, leave, like, 
always not expecting on what's going to happen, like not expecting the unexpected, you know, basically what I'm saying. And it's, I think it's crazy. Um, I like the atmosphere of it. Like I said, the Western, uh, the Western field, they have like, uh, the acres of land, the horses, uh, like I said, I, I, I kind of really enjoyed all, all at like the whole thing behind that. I think that was a really cool thing. And again, I'm, a, I'm a stickler for, um, at, like alien shit and anything like that. I just, I really love stuff like that. So I think this was like a great film to really just be made. Um, the characters, like I said, uh, I, I, I see what Don's saying with the development a little bit. Um, I, it, it's so hard for me to tackle Kiki Palmer's character because I don't even know how to really say it. Like she did good as far as like, you know, like you said, being energetic, uh, being a supportive role. Um, I mean, it's hard to say, man. It's just like, I, I don't know how to like say it like with without being aggressive towards it. It's like, I guess it's like how the way she was kind of like, she wasn't ghetto, but it was just like how she kind of was like being in the film. Like she wasn't like how he was, you know what I mean? He was really she, calm. She was, and, just, she was pretty much an example of like how. Yeah. What like what an average black woman of today? Yeah, like, like he was he was right. calm, he was conservative, he was you know he was just he fit the the movie right. I didn't have any problems with him. The only thing I wish he 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 would have did was I don't know. Like I said, it's kind of hard, but like dialogue, like it was a lot, but he didn't talk as much in the beginning. With you know what I mean, it was kind of like everything. He was more studying shit and actually just kind of letting everything fall into place. Um, for me, I just wanted him to talk a little more because from Get Out, it was just like he, he, the dialogue was good, but it was just like he was more doing things in the back. Like he was. But, but see, that's, that's where I think we're getting lost at. Like we're getting lost on characters. Like, yeah. Like we're so used to see, like, but that's what I'm saying. I think it's a bigger picture. Like, I don't think Jordan Peele wanted his character to be that outspoken and enthusiastic and like, you know, on ease and, and just very woke, like how the character was in Get Out. Like, gotcha. That he, I, that's not, I don't think that's what he wanted the character and, to be. And that's why it would be better to ask him to, like, just like, so what was the, what was the tensions behind his character per se? But but that's what but that's what I'm saying. Like I don't think it's about the characters though. Like it's about the movie as a whole. Like the experience of it. I don't I don't think gotcha. like it's more so just about his char- like the character and his personality. And I like, think and I think he said that too. I think he said in the interview was that the alien was supposed to be. It's it's such a weird like logic what he said, but it was like apparently we're the aliens or something like that it was it was kind of like him saying like we as the viewers are the alien it was some analogy that he used was like mind-blowing i was like what what um because again like every with the alien aspects it was so many questions with me that was where i was getting to with my cons it was just like so where they again i don't know if that was like you said that that wasn't probably the main focus of the alien concept. I don't know like what was, um, but the next question was like, so how did it get there? Or like how, you know, so many questions like towards the end of the film, like, will we see another one? Like, what was the point of capturing it on, on picture for, I mean, it's destroyed, right? Like, will there be more, like, will there be another film of this? Like, you know, there's so many questions I have to, you know, I asked myself, like after watching the entire film, I'm like, so we got the concept with the, you know, with the, 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 the monkey in the TV show. Cause apparently, you know, the, I don't, what was it? I think it was the animals are triggered by like certain sounds or something like that. Yeah. Like the monkey was triggered by the, the popping of the balloons in the studio. Gotcha. And it, it, Cause that's what, um, Steven Young's character was saying that, um, Every time the the monkey were here like a popping balloon, it would just go berserk and just you know that's the reason why they didn't want come on set for and certain it, scenes during that. Uh, and the same thing scene. with the horses, right? Like I think like they they it, I don't know if it was a certain sound. Oh, I mean, well maybe it was, yeah, because they can hear better oh, than we. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, which tied into like the alien and shit. Um, yeah. 
I don't know. Like that, that's, that's a question that I have to ask is just like, so what the hell was it? Like, we didn't know anything. And then I, w- I always wanted to know what was inside of it. You know, like <laughs> we, we seen what, when it was eating the people and shit. Uh, but it was just like, what was like, there's so like, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's like, how did it get there? What is it? Can we had get a little more information on what the hell it is? You know what I mean? Uh, I know that probably was not the main focus. The main focus, again, I, I I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, I think like a big theme of it is like the main reason he was trying to get a picture because it's like always a thing. Like every time in real life when people catch her, a picture or a video of a UFO, is always blurry and it's always yeah un- real, real or fake. They can't really tell, That's- but. That was like the main thing they were trying to get it. That's why it was like that one scene. It was so excited when they said it's like a non uh, electric or battery based camera because if it's just more manual, then it's no chance that it will just go out while they're filming the UFO. So it's yeah. a better quality. Of that. that was just like the main theme of that. Of it, trying to it was the weirdest transition. Like when that thing turned into like the fucking thing at the end, I was like, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I was like, what is happening here, man? Like, I was like, I, I didn't even know how to transform it. Apparently, like, you know, the face of it was like, it looked like that box camera thing in the beginning of the film, you know, when the, uh, when you can see like the little, um, uh, you can see like the little, uh, the, the, the guy, the black jockey on, on the horse with the little film in it, but it was like a little camera lens. It looks like a camera lens. It, it was kind of weird looking. Um, All right. I don't know, man. Like that. That's what I'm saying. These are so many questions I have to ask. Like, it's just like, as, as, as far as, um, I, I, I didn't want to think that hard about it. Cause again, like, I don't think the film is meant to have that deep of a thought of behind every scene, but it was just kind of like, you know, there is going to be some people out there just trying to figure this shit out. Um, because again, like with, with how that, when he discovered that don't look it in the eye, it was kind of like, dude this like how does this how does that match up with like how like I, it just it broke my brain because i'm like dude this thing is a fucking flying saucer so it's like if you don't look at it it can still eat you it could still fucking suck you up i don't i don't get it like why didn't still didn't kill him you know what i mean i was like holy yeah. shit they did it um i i can't, i got it after a while because it's like you know the um the cinema the uh, video photographer he was that one scene he was kept looking at like pictures of like different eyes of different animals and um it's basically like comparing the ufo to like animal instinct so you can't look it in the eye because it will react a certain way that's that's how they was treating it in a way you know what that's crazy because like i never i never thought of it like that i was always wondering like i don't understand the correlation with the monkey and shit but like now that you say that, now I understand. Like, because they do say that, like, never look an animal in its eyes. Yeah, you know? yeah. Like, yeah, that's that's cool. Because it, because because it, they say that about almost every like animal, mostly that 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 can defend itself. It's like if you look a dog in its eye, uh, they feel like they'll jump. They'll, they'll like obviously if they know you, you're you're that's like you're the owner and stuff. They'll play around with you, but they always come towards you. They feel like you're challenging them, especially if you look a tiger in the eye, of course it's going to attack you because it, it feels like it's threatened. So yeah, I mean it like it, like we picked that up actually during the film too. We figured that out. Um, and that was a really interesting take. Especially when it was saying like the, that's the UFO's territory around their house. Their house. So it's yeah, like, but that it's was, that was the confusing part. Like animal. Yeah, but that was the confusing part. Cause it was like, when he said that he was like, it's territorial. I was like, but you guys been here before that thing was even here. Well, I, we don't even know when it fucking got there. That's the thing. Um, yeah. But I was like, what, do you, what? What? It was so confusing. And then, you know, with the, uh, what the hell is the, 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 the Chinese guy's name? I, I, I always can, I, I don't remember the name. Um, I was I know trying his name in real life is Steven. Steven. I was, uh, I, yeah. St- okay. Um, well, Steven, it was kind of confusing because it seemed like they already knew, he already knew that they were already present, like that the, the aliens had been spotted before and he was going to sacrifice to the horse. Like, you know, when he was putting on that show, he was going to sacrifice the horse to it. 
So it was kind of like, what? Like, so they already knew that it was there. There's nobody was kind of like talking about it. So it's like, how long has this shit been here for, bro? Like, right. You know what I mean? Like, it's one of those questions. Again, I know most people don't really think about it like that, but these were the questions that was like playing in my head. I was like, whoa, you know, like, what was the plan? Like, he was just going to always show, um, you know, always sacrifice the horses. And that's why he kept buying the horses from, you know, uh, Daniel's character. He was buying the horses from him so he can sacrifice it to them. But, you know, it was kind of like, he, he, like he said, he said it was supposed to blow your mind. Like it's supposed to be a mind experience. You're going to come out of this in one hour as a different whole human being, because it's something like we're not used to seeing. And it's kind of like, whoa, you know, you're just killing horses. Like <laughs> it's fucked up. But I think like that whole scene too is he wasn't expecting that to happen. He was just expecting, you know, like the perform has uh, those kids that's dressed up like the aliens just to put on a performance with it. The, the audience but he was yeah i don't think he was expecting to see well, the it ufo was, it, well, it was annoyed out. it was annoyed because they then they fed the they fed the um the decoy like the the statue thing to it and then you know the the flag the you know the line was like coming down from it it was oh, it was yeah, yeah it was like it, it was confusing because again it we didn't when we when you really think about it we don't even know what it really craved we only know that it just killed horses and um, it, it did kill like once it felt like you, you were it wasn't when it was threatened or you looked into it, which was like these were many things. But it was just kind of like, uh, you know, we didn't know what it really wanted. Like, what was the main purpose of it being there? You know what I mean? Like if, if nobody was around, it's like, well, it just was going to stay in the clouds the whole time, you know, like. I don't know. That that's what I'm saying. Like, and then the thing is, like, okay, if that was one, where's is there more than that? You know? And when it died, it, it th- that part was confusing because it was this like when he swallowed the balloon, I was like, how did he I guess he couldn't breathe, right? That's what it was. It was suffocating it. Like he couldn't breathe because he exhaled or something like that. Like he I think he breathes from that 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 mouth thing. Right, I think um, it just exploded inside of him, and that's. It, what it but he didn't look like he faded completely, though, right? Like it seemed like he was still alive, right? Looked yeah, like, I thought everybody that got sucked in there stayed alive for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I think it digests for a while, but then after some time, it just like like we seen in that one scene where it, all that blood came on the house. I that think was the most. Hey, yo, it was oh. the most. I love that scene so much. It was so fucking crazy. Like that was so chaotic. Like the blood, it just was splitting the blood all over the house. That shit was crazy. Yeah. So I think it has like a, a period where like people, whatever it eats is still alive inside, but then after a while it digests and then it spits it back out after it's like shitting. It's like shitting it out after a while whatever it ate. That's, that's why like, in the first very scene, it, it shot out the, the nickel and the, the key and everything. Yeah, yeah. That 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 was crazy. That was that was crazy. And now, like I said, like I just, you know, these are these are questions I just was playing in my head most of the time because it was just like, wow. But some of the best scenes I enjoyed, I mean, man, there's so many of them. Um, I got to say, like, uh, first off, I think I'm going to go ahead and say, like, the TMZ uh the tmz guy that shit that shit was hilarious when he fell off the bike um because yeah. he, was, he was just driving and then he just it, like everybody kept saying remember i picked it up before he even got there i was like oh shit dude he's riding an electric bike he's gonna it's gonna stop and he just flew oh. off the bike and just started screaming and shit um yeah. my best my the best part about that part man was this uh you know when he went to go help the guy he was looking through you know his helmet and he seen the reflection from the thing and he was just like, Oh, my bad, bro. Like that was <laughs> yeah, seen the, the yo, that there, was yo, know, that was the best like that yo, you gotta give this man an Oscar after that scene, bro. Like if more people could do that in more films, I think that would be crazy. Like just be like, My bad, bro, and then they just die and shit, it'll be fucked up. <laughs> um, the thing I like about Gary Hill, like he brings out the realism of uh, moments like that is like uh, how a black person would react to be like instead of like trying to help that guy up he'll like, like that, look after himself yeah. and like 
think realistic and be like, I'm out. By the time I can pick you up, it's it's gonna be too late. So I might as well just save myself. I like I like the I like the 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 um the Best Buy uh what is it called fries? Yeah, that, I like the distort because like I don't know if you noticed, but in the film like uh there was like PC parts and shit like that in the background. I thought that was cool. Like they they put Corsair and shit. I was looking at all the parts. I was like, oh shit, they actually put that in the movie. It's cool. Um, yeah. It kind of adds to like the Geek Squad and Best Buy. Yeah, I like this character though, man. Like he was random as hell, of course. Like when he, when you know, when he pulled up and he was like, "Yo, look at my ex girlfriend," <laughs> and Danny was just like, "He was like, yo, I don't give a fuck. Like, why are you showing me this?" Um, yeah, that, that, that character is like the conspiracy theorist of the the group. Yeah, I like them though. Like, I like the character. I think he was, uh, you know, he was. It, it felt like they needed him just to be kind of that one outsider that's always making like a smart, like a small joke or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's knowledgeable it, how the cameras were able to capture him. And yeah, so he, yeah. That, that. So I liked it that I liked it when he came into the movie, and then, um, like I said, the rain, the blood spatter part, and then I guess like. Towards the ending, you know, when they had that connection between, um, you know, uh, Kiki Palmer's character and uh, Daniel's when they because I thought Daniel was going to die at that point. I was like, fuck, man, this is shitty. Um, For me, like I liked the bond ship that they kind of had for each other at that moment because it was kind of like diving back into like their childhood because I think like they did that when they were kids. Right. I think. Palmer was looking out the window. Yeah. Yeah. He was and everything. Yeah, that was that That's was about her, that uh Daniel's character, like he was he had a very close bond show with the horses. Like he was talking to them in a way, but yeah. without really talking to him. It's like he, especially with the black horse in particular, it's like he does like his number one horse that um he always had demand over. And you can see that in that one scene where the the horse didn't want to get out that box where um Steven character was trying to present the UFO to the the audience. The the horse didn't want to get out because it was aware of what happened to the other horses. <laughs> and it I like I like that subtle thing. Damn, that's crazy. I don't know. I like and it was crazy too, right? Like I don't know if anybody noticed that too. Um uh when uh when we were we were in the middle of watching the film, I don't know what occurred to me, but I was like I think they're selling merch. I think I heard that somewhere that they were selling merchandise for the film. Um, they had like on their website and stuff, uh, like hoodies and t-shirts and a hat. Uh, well, maybe want to get the merch from this movie. I was like, dude, his hat. I like this hat. Like Daniel's hat was fire. Oh yeah. Like his old outfit was fire. I liked it. Um, it was based off of the black jockey kind of thing. Yeah, you know? yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And I think that, you know, I think that's about it. The only things I, I mean, I, I kind of went over my dislikes and likes about it. What about you guys? Don, you want to start first? Then? Oh, okay. Yeah, I go. Um, yeah, I kind of just, you know, that's, that's pretty much my guy for it. Like the character development for, for that. But uh, my pros is like, I really like like a lot of the subtleties that uh, Jordan Pill puts throughout this movie in particular is like like I said like the subtleties of showing um, how the white horses got abducted first and they're like more uh, more outgoing and <laughs> and now where was going on versus the black horses more smarter and more stern and thinks thinks things through. I think that's like a more reflection on how. Uh, Daniel's character was as well as like it kind of it kind of goes hand in hand with that is and I think that's why they he made that his main horse because it's like they kind of them think in a similar way of survival yeah so that part too yeah I mean I, I I see what you're saying the connection between you know the the horses was that that was a cool feature to add in there I like that yeah and it's like. And like just the creativity of um the UFO, how it works and how it operates. It, I thought that was a different take of overall how it blends in with the clouds and it, it and it it stealthily moves in on its prey. During it, it doesn't even and it doesn't do the stereotypical thing where it attacks at night too. I like that it, it can attack at any time of the day, like during the daytime or the night. It doesn't matter, and uh how it can control the weather and. Like that one scene where uh, Daniel character was in the car 
it, it was moving the rain along with it because it, it had control of the cloud. And I thought that shit was crazy how it was able to do that. It was super it, fast. It was, yeah. In a way. That thing was quick, man. It was just like, you know, he couldn't outrun that shit. Half the time in the movie he's spending, like, trying to run it, run from it. It's like, bro, that thing is, like, super quick. Like, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he definitely had some speed on it, though. He was able to get away from that shit. Yeah. That is cool, though. Yeah, but, yeah, overall, I like... I thought it was a real decent movie though. It was, it was solid, even the way how it ended. It's like they had a plan, they plotted out a plan. The one character that was annoying though is the the video t- photographer at the end, where he he went outside that I didn't, the shelter where he got footage. He went outside, and for some reason he was like, you know what? I'm going to do the impossible. I'm like, yeah, what the fuck are you I was like, bro, what was the point, man? Like, I was about to bring that up. I, I, I was like, yo, this is like, it didn't make no sense. Why, you, like, why did you just film all that? It, like, it, they took so long just to prepare it to, to even get all that, like, to get up to that point, and he just wasted all that film. Like, that was fucking idiot. That was the more. That's the this is the main point. They were trying to get the proof of the UFO existing, and he right. went up and fucked it all up, like. Like, like they didn't even need to do the ending, you know, because like, mind you, she had to take the picture of it. Like, if he still would have been alive, they didn't even have to do anything else. Right. Well, they been, well, they like, still had to kill it. it. They still had to kill it, but at least they would have had the footage. They didn't need to do the extra step. You know what I'm saying? They could he could have saved them a step. Would have been way more clear proof, and yeah. it's like, um, but <laughs> I don't know why his character did that, but. Yeah, I guess he was just trying to film inside the, the shit, but by the time, of course, he would die along with the footage, so it would be pointless for him to do that. I don't know why. It was fucking it's, pointless. I mean, for me, I think it was like the, the, the weirdest part for me it was like the monkey. Like the monkey, like, I don't know, the monkey was fucking, it was a little terrifying to me, like the way they'd CGI him. Like, it, was, it was just fucking, like, the monkey was psychotic. <laughs> yeah, it's like from Planet of the Apes. Yeah, or no, shit. not even like you don't even see like in Planet of the Apes. Like I don't know if anybody watched it, but when I watched it, they didn't do shit like that. Now, like Caesar was crazy. I mean, he had guns and shit, but but uh, you know, it wasn't like eat your face and like stomp him out. You know, it was just kind of like unexpected the monkey to be like that. Uh, and then it was kind of weird. He was trying to go for the fist pump. The the fist pump. Yeah, um, I think I think that reason why that happened is because he had a bondship with uh, the actor when he was a kid. That he was the only one that he was cool with, and that's the that's the reason why they always use that as like a slogan in the show of like doing the pound fist and the, the explosion. I will say uh, that I will say that though. I mean, Mira Mira was right on that. It was like besides the alien thing, we 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 didn't even know if it was going to be like in you know ghosts or whatever it is could have been a lot of other things out there because you don't know when you're diving in when you're coming into this film like you don't know what to expect everything is just like random you know yeah because they kept showing like different um, every time it would be like a different channel it would show like a, a blank screen with like a different word like it would say ghost and it would say a different phrasing or whatever yeah until after the film that those were just the names of the different horses that was on the ranch I didn't even know that after oh um, like all oh, the names and and the different type of horses on the ranch yeah like the t- you know like the title cards that kept popping up where it's oh said yeah 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 and, yeah you know that was the horses that were. it seemed like ghost played the most biggest part i don't know why he was just like a horse that was actually well known in the film yeah i think he's like the first one yeah, yeah. um mayor what are your thoughts on it then? what'd you like about it so it's not my favorite of the three, but I do respect it. Oh, like um, Get Out and, and Us and shit? Yeah, I think Us is still probably going to be my favorite. Yeah. Um, but I, I think this is a good movie. Um, I think the, the theme of it, for me, it was very eerie. I was getting very, like, obviously space, UFO, UFO nighttime kind of vibes. Yeah. Um. Like I said, I think for me, I think the actors did a pretty good job of like, uh, like portraying the characters enough to like help the setting of the uh, of the movie. Um, obviously, the main character being like a country kind of inspired character, 
the other dude that works at like the fucking random ass fucking convenience store <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Like the fucking the one guy who is like triggered by uh Joke. capturing the most fucking impossible photo that you absolutely can. Like just them portraying like the way that they did. I think they did a good job with that. Yeah. Uh, what else? Was fun? This whole movie was fucking just like it was whacked out crazy. But, <laughs> it, was, way, but it was random, right? Like it was just like yeah. you, you couldn't figure out. It was like definitely the most random of the three. Like <laughs> I think later down the line, like year a couple years from now, like once it's out, more people like Kevin uh, viewed it. I think people will have a better understanding of it. I think it's just too new right now. It's it's. I feel like the overall message of it is just way over our heads. I'm definitely gonna. I'm I'm when it comes out. I'm definitely watching it just because. Like, yeah, because like, even Get Out was like that. Like Get Out was very like it was crazy when it first came out. People didn't understand it, but then you know a couple years later it. now it's like you know what Get Out is about. Yeah, like, yeah. I got I feel like I gotta do the same thing with this film. I feel like I have to rewatch it again. I already told Don. I was like, uh, when this comes out, I gotta rewatch this again. Just because I'm yeah. just trying to understand the concept behind everything. And like I said, I mean, I'm I'm if it if it if it goes any farther, I would like to see like a sequel because think about it. I said this to Don. I was like, what way, you know, Jordan Peele is still relatively new in the director uh field. And he said that already at like, you know, on his interview for this film. Um, he's living his dream, which is great. I'm happy to see him like that. Um, but what better way to start off with a trilogy or a sequel? You know what I mean? Start making, you know, additions to the next film. I think that would be cool. So if, you know, I, I would like to see like another film from this one for sure. I don't know what they'll do. Um, but I mean, I don't know it might be one of those films that we just, it was just one, one time deal and then go on to the next one. But I don't know. It's like I said, they can do a lot with this one because again, like we got a photo of it, but can we now we, we can we, you know, what if, what if there's another one? You know, we don't, we don't know if there's another one or there's still things going on in the background. I mean, I don't, I don't know. There's so many things they could, they can open up for the next movie. Um, I personally would like to see that, you know, I would like to see another film from this one. Um, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen, you know? Yeah. Cause it was such an open ended. And then, yeah, that's so, what I was saying. Like, being a sequel, if possible, that they could do it. Right, and he could do it. And you know, the budgeting for this film was like, I even seen the interview. Like, they even said like, "Yo, this shit was like super expensive." Like, they they gave him a lot of money for this project to be like to make to make it alive and you know make it happen. So it was like, you know, again, I would like to see a second film from this for sure because it's just like the way they left it open was like. You know, or even just like, don't do like what they did with Cloverfield, like just random, random shit each film. You know what I mean? Like, just kind of continue it from there if you can. It's not like I said, I mean, if it's a one time deal, then it is what it is. But I definitely will recommend this film for anybody who hasn't watched it yet. I, I, I mean, I, I feel like it's going to be a lot of a lot to take in. There's a lot of randomness happening. And like I said, it's 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 always leaving your mind wondering on what's happening next. But if you're one of those people that likes to dive into it and actually likes the challenge of trying to figure it out, the concept behind the movie, like I am, I will recommend this to those people for sure. So it's like a puzzle yeah. piece. Um, But overall, I like the film, man. Overall, I, I liked everything about it. It was very random, of course, compared to the other two. Uh, but the other two were random as well. They just wasn't like this now. Like, at least with the other ones, they had straight lines. This one went, like, in a zigzag. Um, But everything everything I liked about it was just, yeah, I didn't have no complaints. I mean, you know, like I said, minor things I've had wrong with the film, but we already discussed those things. So, yeah. is there anything else? Good addition to his collection uh, of films he's made so far. Kim Pill, I mean Jordan Pill, and yeah, I it's not my favorite out of the three, but I, my favorite is like Get Out still. But I definitely put this like against uh, Us. You know, I like that. I don't know. Us was good. Us was really yeah. good. Yeah, I didn't see it in theaters, but I know it, it was it was good though. Yeah, I probably put. I may I may put this above up. Us maybe or it's like a tie 
Yeah, I had to watch that one again too. And then I don't know yeah. if you guys seen that too. They made this like um, it's like a knockoff app. Like if you go on the website, but they made like a VR experience of of the movie, which is I didn't try it out. But for anybody who has like an o- Oculus Quest two or anything like that, if you guys want to check that out, you can. It's I think it's like a free app. Um, yeah, it's it's I think it's a. You know, I, I was gonna try check it out, check it out, and, and you know, when we come back on the show, I'll definitely just be like, "Yo, I checked that out." Um, but it, it it seemed like it seemed like a pretty interesting thing on that because I don't, I've usually when movies come out, I mean, they with Marvel that's different. You know, I think they they usually add like a little, you know, VR experience of like you seeing the characters and shit. But you know, we get out, it was such a different. You know, that's it's a horror movie type thing. Like we don't usually see that when movies come out like that. So I thought that was different. But um, yeah, I think we discussed everything about the film. If you guys have anything else to add on to it, or yeah, uh, yeah, that's about it. I can think of. Yeah, yeah. I've said everything. All right. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, If there was anything that we left out, we apologize. I felt like we covered a lot of the film and what our likes and dislikes about it and what we feel like the film, you know, captured. Um, But if you guys felt like you wanted to discuss it more, you can leave a comment in the video um, and we we can actually just answer those questions for you. Um, but I think that's about it. I, I hope you guys are liking the content. Um, leave a like, and like, and subscribe to our channels and, and our, and our social media pages. And, um, yeah, I guess we'll see you guys on the next one. Great. Peace.